this niche that we're talking about here, a high wing strut braced airplane, uh, is ideal for the addition of floats, and so it was it was something that was set out as a goal from the beginning, and the development of this airplane uh, will continue until that goal is achieved, until we're actually together on a lake in British Columbia with some trout in the frying pan. The final and most anticipated chapter in the development of the world's most versatile kit plane has been written. Stoddard Hamilton's Glassstar is now float tested and capable. Wherever you want to go, whatever adventure you want to take, the Glassstar on floats will make it happen. Stoddard Hamilton has made rigging your Glassstar for floats simple and fast. With standard lifting eyes and pre-welded airframe attach points, you can easily configure from wheels to floats. The Glass Star is easily rigged to accommodate a variety of float design. The folding wing capability makes the Glass Star on floats nearly as easy to launch as a ski boat and makes trailering uncomplicated. The Glass Star's sleek composite fuselage provides a decided advantage for float plane operations on salt water. Tim Johnson has over 3,000 hours on floats, having logged time in Helio Couriers, Cessna 180s, Beavers, and Norsemans. Much of his float experience was as a missionary pilot flying the Amazon jungles. You just can't get anywhere near the quality of a Glass Star airplane uh, for the price you're going to pay. You're going to get uh, one of perhaps the premier float plane in the world today. The Glass Star really isn't say the top of its class, it's really instituted a whole new class of airplane. I think the main thing that has really pleased me about the Glass Star is how easy it is to fly on floats. I've flown now uh, quite a few people who have never flown a float plane in their life. I can talk them off the water without ever touching the controls myself. I can talk them onto the water. Glass Star is just a simple airplane to take off and land on the water, so it's a big jump. It gives a pilot a lot of confidence. Myron Adlin is currently building a float-equipped Glass Star. Myron's no stranger to float plane flying with more than 2,500 float hours. All of his float time has been logged in his Cessna 185 fishing remote lakes and rivers in Canada. 185 is a super airplane, but uh, it's, uh, uh, there's lakes that I believe that, uh, and I'm confident now after flying the Glass Star and floats that I can get into a lot smaller lakes than I do with my 185. The, the flying capabilities of the Glass Star is, uh, is uh, mind-boggling on uh, what it'll do. At stall, you got the control that you have in these airplanes is, is on, unreal. I've never flown an airplane that's easier to fly than this. The control you have, that full control at stall is unbelievable. Whereas uh, my 185 handles real well, super airplane, but when you stall that airplane, you're gonna have a wing falling out on you. This airplane doesn't do that. It just, just don't want to stall. It's gonna be an uh, airplane that uh, somebody's really gonna have to work at to get in trouble with. Howard Stearns is nearing completion of his Glass Star. Howard's summer home sits on a remote island in northern British Columbia with only two means of access, boat or float plane. As a float plane pilot exclusively, Howard's current plane wasn't giving him what he needed. What he wanted was a Glass Star on floats. Uh, the reason I purchased the Glass Star was I had made three attempts to build an airplane in the early days and because of time constraints, I never made it. So after I retired, I started researching the market uh, for the ideal float plane and I looked at all of them. It's been more fun than anything I've ever, I've built the dozens of boats and warehouses and, and all kinds of things, but I've had more fun in the last three years building this airplane than uh, the last two years. Another um, strong point of the Glass Star is its width and size. I'm 6'3", 260 pounds, and the Star is uh, five inches wider than a 180 Cessna. Uh, which I feel very cramped in. The, the, the Glass Star affords me all kinds of room uh, and very easy to get in and out of. With the limited amount of testing that we have done, uh, light, we're off in less than 10 seconds and under total control, it comes up on the step very easy. 
and just flies itself right out. Uh, heavy, with excessive weight in the airplane, about up to, uh, 24 seconds or so, and we're still off. The beauty is that we can actually uh, come off the water and then fairly quickly do an immediate 180 degree turn and go the other direction. For the pilot who wants to learn how to fly it at what I'm now calling a post-stall condition, which I've only done with one other airplane in my life, and that's a helio courier, is uh, it's a phenomenal airplane to do a lift off the water, climb 50 feet, do a, a 60 degree bank, which is a very steep bank. One maneuver we have is if the tree is on our way. You'll get into this with mountain lakes. Watch the airspeed indicator. We're just going to go up and up and up. Now we've actually gone below stall speed and I can still roll and pitch the airplane. I'm still climbing, although eventually it'll fall off. But uh, what a marvelous airplane. And uh, the power is what gives us that control. There's some airplanes that'll do this, but few will do it with the kind of control that we have here. You can fly around objects that are in in your way rather than having to position yourself uh, in, uh, in long straight approaches, which a lot of faster airplanes simply need. They just can't maneuver. So an approach on this is just simply bring it down around 65, 70 or so. Full flaps. And we're just going to raise the nose just to buzz. And just settle down. The taxiing characteristics at high speed are phenomenal in a glass star, perhaps unbeatable by any plane I've, uh, I know of. Because the aileron is uh, so effective at slow speeds, we have a situation where I can actually turn the airplane on one float in a very uh, sharp angle. Uh, turning it around on the water, rolling it over on another float, turning around in narrow rivers frequently, uh, you're taking off going around the corner. And the glass star just gives phenomenal control that way. Most airplanes on step turns are staying flat on the water and they're actually sliding and it can be an uncomfortable feeling. Now with a float plane I can add power and now we're doing what's called flying on the step or taxi, step taxi. And uh, the planes are good at this, and you can actually turn it, and you'll feel yourself being moved sideways in the seat. We can turn it the other way. Docking, uh, it's beautiful. The uh, door opens and swings completely forward against the cowl, so you have the full advantage, nothing in your way to uh, step out onto the float and uh, onto the dock. We have the ultimate answer to one of the huge docking problems, which is if you have a huge post there, shut down, if you'd like, out in the water. Simply uh, uh, pull your spar pin, fold your wing. Uh, I can't tell you how many places I've had to maneuver a float plane into a dock with posts, and it's incredibly dangerous to your airplane. The uh, folding wing is... Uh it's a big, big item. If you're uh, out on a remote lake sometime and uh, maybe uh, you got a, a bad wind condition or something where there isn't much you can do about it, you can fold the wings and uh, be in a lot safer uh, situation. Building and owning the glass star and floats gives you one thing, freedom. Freedom to explore, enjoy the adventures that only owning and flying a float plane can give. The glass star and floats truly lives up to its motto of unmatched versatility. There simply isn't anything that compares to the satisfaction you'll enjoy in building and owning your glass star. The adventures are out there, begging you to experience them. You're not getting any closer to fulfilling your dreams by wondering what it would be like. So pick up the phone and call Stoddard Hamilton to find out more. Life is full of I should have. Don't let this be one of them.